I'd like to officially welcome you to part one of a four part tutorial series where I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to make this adorable little Android looping animation in Blender. So let me quickly show you the blend file and you can see what we're gonna be working on. So here you can see is the blend file. This is also gonna be the one that I'm gonna be uploading to my Patreon. And it's the exact same thing that you saw in the beginning. The only difference is after I did this four part tutorial, I just tweaked mine a little bit, but we're gonna be doing the exact same modeling, exact same rigging, animation. It's all gonna be the same for you watching this tutorial. And then I'll upload the final result to my Patreon as a blend file that you guys can download in the description if you're a Patreon. Um, but other than that, um, whether you're a Patreon or not, you can definitely follow this free series and make this awesome looking little Android robot. So let's jump into part one and I hope you guys enjoy. So the new scene opened up in Blender, select all the default objects and press delete. And then we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options, add in a cylinder, which is gonna be the principal shape that our um, Android guys made out of. So we're gonna go into our front view, we're gonna tab into edit mode of the cylinder selected. And let's just go S and Z and scale it a little bit up on the Z, about this much. And then we're gonna grab these bottom faces here. We're gonna go Control B and create a bevel by going Control B. We're gonna roll the middle mouse button a few times just to add in some segments. Let's go with something like this. And then let's grab the top face and once again go Control B and create a bevel at the top as well. Okay, that's looking really good. So now what we're gonna do is, um, let's go back into object mode. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And now we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna to go to our mesh options, add in a circle and go G, Z, move it up to the top. S to scale it down. So put it right here. And let's go ahead and go to our modifiers with that selected, add modifier and search. And let's type in array and get an array modifier. And let's go ahead and make it two or I guess one on the Z and we'll make it zero on the X over here under the factor. And let's just make sure it has a count of two for now. We're gonna tab into edit mode. We're gonna go E to extrude and Z and just extrude it up like so. And then we're gonna go E to extrude again and Z extrude up like so. And let's just go shift alt and left click on this edge to loop select it. And let's go control B or command B to create a bevel. Roll your middle mouse button down so we don't have extra segments, we just want one segment like this and we're gonna go about this much, then click and then we're gonna go E to extrude, right click and we still have it active and then we're gonna go Alt S and just scale out like so using Alt S and then S Z and just flatten that a little bit. Okay, now we have this. Now we can go A to select it, S and Z just to flatten it. We can make it as big or as small as we want. So I'm gonna go something like that. I'm gonna go G, Z, just bring it down a bit. Tab back out, and now I'm gonna to go to the count here. We're back in object mode. I'm just gonna bump this up. Uh, I'm gonna go about five times. I'm gonna right click and go shade smooth. And I'm also gonna go add modifier search and just go sub and get a subdivision surface. And now we have the neck. Now we're just gonna go shift A. We're gonna add in a UV sphere. We're gonna go G, Z, move it up, and place it about here. Tab into edit mode, and then in wireframe, let's just select the bottom and go X and delete those faces. And then we're gonna go Shift, Alt, left click on this edge to a loop select it. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and Z to extrude it down a bit. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and S and scale that in over here. And then let's go Shift, Alt, and left click on this edge over here to loop select and go Control B and just create a bevel and roll the middle mouse button once or twice, just to round it out. And now we have an Android head and you could always grab the bottom verts here and move them as much up or down as you want, just to kind of refine the shape. I'm gonna tab back out, right click, I'm gonna go shade smooth. And by the way, you can bring this head down as much as you want or have it high, as high as you want. You can really make your Android unique with that sort of detail. And then we're gonna go shift A, we're just gonna add in a cylinder. We're gonna go to our front view with that active. We're gonna go RX90 and hit enter. Then go G to move the cylinder up. Go to your modifiers and go add modifier search and type in MIR. Click on mirror. Click on an eyedropper and then select the Android head. And by default, it should be set to X on the axis. So we're gonna go S to scale it down, G to move it in. And then let's go to your uh, right view by pressing free on a number pad. Let's go G, Y, and just move it forward. 
So in our front view, this is what we should see. Now let's tab into edit mode, go to our face select option and select the face over here. Control B just to create a bit of a bevel. Then click on the middle face, I to inset, E to extrude in, I to inset a little bit and then E to extrude. And then Control B again just to create a slight bevel, like so. And now let's tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. And there we have the Android eyes. Um, maybe let's just quickly go back and just delete this back face over here and go over here, Control R, left click, just slide in a loop, tab back out. And now if we wanted to, we could always go and add a subdivision surface modifier, but that's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, it should be fine without it. But now we have these cute little Android eyes that we can move and just adjusting that you can really kind of change the mood and the style of the character. Okay, we're getting there. So now let's go Shift A. Let's just add in another cylinder, RX90, and hit Enter. Now we're going to go S and scale this down, and this is going to be the cutter object. So we're going to place it right over here, and we're actually going to grab our Android, and let's just tab into Edit Mode. Press A to select everything, and let's just go E to extrude. Right click, and then go Alt S, and just scale. Or in fact, let's just go S with that new selection duplication. Let's just go S and scale it down like that, right? And this is going to be the inside like so. So it has a little bit of thickness. And then we're going to tab back out. And now we're going to go add modifier search. Let's just type in Boolean. So B double O and then go Boolean. Click on an eyedropper and then select the cylinder. And with our cylinder our here selected, we're just going to right click and go shade auto smooth. And then let's grab this guy over here and just press H to hide it. And let's see how that's worked. Okay, that's okay. But I think we can make it better by coming in here. Control R, roll your middle mouse button just to add in some segments. Tab back out. Now that's looking a little bit cleaner. So what we can do is we can go Alt H, bring back this cylinder and scale it up just a bit. And we're going to press M and we're going to move it to a new collection. This is called this cutter. Go OK. And then we want to turn it off for the render and the view so we don't see it um, in our render. OK, cool. So now we can go Shift A. Let's add in, I guess to make the doors, we could just go Shift A, add in a mesh circle. S to scale it down a bit and then tab into edit mode and go E to extrude and Z and extrude it up about that much. And then press A to select everything in edit mode and go Shift D to duplicate and Z and just bring it down a bit and leave a tiny little gap in the middle. And then tab back out and now we're going to right click and go Shade Smooth. And if this object here, we're just going to go to our modifiers and we're going to go search and just get a solidify. So type in SOL, click on solidify and then just give this a little bit of thickness like so. And we can also go add modifier search and just type in bevel, give it a bevel modifier and then just make this amount really small and bump up the segments just so we have a little bit of a bevel running around. So now we have the little doors. And while we're at it with these doors selected, let's just quickly go to our object data properties. Let's just go to our shape keys and create two shape keys. And if you want to understand shape keys better, I do have a dedicated video somewhere on my channel, but we're going to click on this key one. With it active, we're going to go over into edit mode and then let's just select this top bit, right? This top face. We're going to go S, Z and scale it down on the Z and then G, Z to move it up to about here. And so something like that, let's select this bottom one, scale that down on the Z and then go G, Z and move that down like so. Tab back out and now if we grab the slider on key one in object mode, we can kind of open this up like so. How cool is that? That way we'll be able to see the heart. So for now, let's just close it by putting it at the value of zero. You can double click on a key and just call it open door. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, so now let's just make sure to save obviously as you're working, but now we're gonna make the arm. So let's select the neck, shift D to duplicate. We're gonna go G and move it over. 
And in our front orthographic, we're going to go R90, and we're going to hit Enter. Then we're going to go S to scale this down, bring it over here. And then we're going to go S, X, and just scale it out along the X, like so. And let's go to our modifiers, and let's go to the array. And let's bump up the count this time and make it a bit more. And let's get rid of the subdivision surface, just so it's not as laggy. So I'm going to go something like that. I might just tab into edit mode and grab the actual segment itself. Just scale it a little bit more along the X. You can edit this however you want. I'm going to go something like that and I might just bring the count down a bit since I've done that. But I don't want to make the arms too long so I'm going to go something like that, maybe scale it just a bit more. There we go and then I'm going to go add modifier search and just type in MIR. Click on mirror and then click on the eyedropper and then select the Android body. And now it's getting mirrored like so. And maybe just I'll quickly come in here, control R, double click, add in the segment and just kind of scale it up. Um, you guys can do this however you want. I'm just adding a little bit more, I think, detail to the arm, but it's completely up to you. It doesn't have to be exactly like I'm doing it over here. Um, you can kind of customize this just by the shape of these little ridges. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could go about doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to go Shift A. I'm going to add in a, another cylinder. I'm going to go G and move it over. And this time what I'll do is go add modifier, search and just type in MIR, get a mirror. Click on the eyedropper, select the Android body and then go S to scale it. Let's go R, Y, 9, 0, hit enter. So we've rotated it and then go S, X to flatten it a little bit. And then just put it at the very end like so. And then you can go into edit mode and this is optional, but you could always just grab these faces and go control B just to create a bevel and do the same thing over here. Um, it's optional, like you can just leave it as a simple cylinder or you can just come here, add extra little details if you want. Um, but I'm just going to keep it really simple like this. Just a cylinder like this that's flattened will do. And then in object mode, we're going to right click and go shade smooth. And now we're just going to make those little claws and they're really easy. We're going to go shift A, add in a cube. Let's move that over. S to scale that down. Let's place it right about here and let's go R. And then we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to go R to rotate it. And with our face select option, we're going to select this face. And in our front orthographic, we can simply just go G to move it out a little bit. And then E to extrude, R to rotate, and then G to move it out. And let's go S, Z, and just flatten it like so. There we go. And then we're going to come in here, Control R, left click, and just move and add in a segment over here. Let's go to a vertex select option and then just grab this bit here, kind of move it like so. Something very simple like this should just be fine. And then what we're going to do, we're going to A to select all of it, S, Y, and just flatten it a bit. Tab back out, and now let's just go to our modifiers, and let's just give this a bevel modifier. And let's just bump up the segments, and you can increase or decrease the amount. And then we're going to come to the drop down and apply it, and then right click and go shade smooth. And then with this guy, we just need to go add mirror, add modifier, search and type in MIR. Let's give that a mirror, click on an eyedropper and then select the cylinder and make sure. Okay, so in this case, because we've rotated this thing and not applied the rotation, the X is working here. But if it's not, just mess around with these till it is sitting right on top like that. In this case, the X will work for that. Um, so then I'm just going to go S and scale this down. Bring it in like so, maybe rotate it a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to come to the mirror and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that mirror. And what we could do is with this selected, we can hold and shift and select the hand and go control J or command J and just join it. Now it's one Android hand and you can scale it as big or as small as you want. You can move it up or down, lengthen the arm, shorten the arm completely up to you. So now let's just make the feet. So let's just grab the arms. We're going to go shift D to duplicate them, bring them down. And in our front view, we're just going to go R90, hit enter. 
S to S and then G just to move them up, place them over here. And now we can go to our array modifier and just bring down the count. And let's have little short legs like this should be fine. And then we can go shift A, let's just add in a cube. G to bring it down, S to scale it. And as you can guess, we're gonna go add modifier search and just type in MIR, give it a mirror, click on an eyedropper, select the Android body. And now you can just go ahead S, Z, just to flatten it. Go into your right view. And this is honestly something you can do however you want. Just grab the face, extrude it out, grab the vertex here at the front to flatten it, to make a little toe. Something really simple like this should be absolutely fine. And if you wanted to, you can go Control or just press A to select everything. Go Control B and just create a bevel, like so. And then tab back out, right click, go Shade Smooth. And that's the little Android feet. And you can scale them however you want. You can position them wherever you want. But they're very, very simple to do. In fact, I might just move mine out a little bit. Like I said, this is personal preference at this point. You could shape this however you want. You really could. So a few things I might adjust. I might just grab the head, bring it up a little bit, move the eyes up and out. I might just grab the body and in edit mode, just select everything, go S, Z, flatten it a bit. And then just, and then tab back out. And I'm just gonna grab that along with the door just go G, Z, and move it up. In fact, before we do that, we actually have to bring back the cutter object and select it as well, and just move those up. There we go. And that's optional. You can keep the body a bit longer if you wanted to. But I'm just gonna go ahead, turn off the cutter object. But something like that, I think looks kind of cute. And I might just shorten the arm just a little bit. Once again, this is personal preference at this point. But yeah, there is our little Android guy. So I think what we're gonna do, in the next part, we will be applying some of these modifiers and we'll be adding in a very basic kind of little rig. And then maybe we'll do the animation. If we run out of time, we'll do the animation maybe in part three, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you for watching. And this blend file will be on my Patreon. So you can check that in the description below. That also helps support the channel. So I'll see you guys in part two.